Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Core Monsters. My name is Nick. I'll be your host for this event. Today we're in East Rutherford, New Jersey. We're going to be going into racing here first. Got a good stacked lineup of trucks for you. Up first, we're going to see Curtis Sparks in high voltage. See if we can get a feel for what kind of times we're going to see this evening. Line up over the cars, nice and smooth. Comes down across the line with a 5.282 for the first pass of the day. Not a bad run. Next, we're gonna have Henry Gibbons and flying high. I would suspect this to be a relatively quick run. Go ahead and get staged up. And we're off over the cars, smooth, good air. A little bit of a turn off there, 5.002, so he will take the lead from high voltage. Next, we have Alice Montgomery in Utter Madness. Right on the throttle. Good second jump, though. 5.419 is going to put her at the bottom of the board for now. But still a pretty good run. Next up, Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. I expect to see good things here. Off the line, solid. Back on throttle a little late in between the ramps of 5.156. So not a bad run. Next we're going to see Mike Maxwell in loud pedal. Lining up here. Very cool looking hot rod, this one. Up over nice and smooth. Back on throttle. Up over 4.798. That is a new leader. Will he be able to hang on to it, though? Now we're going to see Jack Schroeder in Try Me. Again, another very cool looking hot rod. Two good looking cars back to back. A lot of air and late on the throttle. 5.174 for Jack. Not quite what he was looking for, but it's still a good solid pass. Now we're going to see Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault. Off the line. 5.148. Good solid pass. Joe Montgomery and Snow Problem coming out now. This is Alice's husband. See if he can improve on what she laid out earlier. There we go. Easy over the first set. Good air over the second set of cars. 4.968. It is not enough for the lead, but still a very good run. Now we're going to have Sinful Addiction with Keith Johnson driving it. I know this truck makes a lot of power, so I would expect this one to be pretty strong. Good air back on throttle, nice and early. Very nice run. 4.831. That'll take the number two spot. Not quite enough for the lead. Then we're going to have Asphalt Assault coming out. not allowing it to get the power down 4.993 definitely could have improved a little bit smoother landing but still a pretty solid run should put him up in the top five all right here's the results for racing loud pedal with a 4.798 sinful addiction with a 4.831 snow problem with a 4.968 asphalt assault with a 4.993 flying high with a 5.002 airborne assault with a 5.148 Reckless Red with a 5.156, Try Me with a 5.174, High Voltage with a 5.282, and Utter Madness with a 5.419. Next, we're going to be going into Freestyle, the part of the show where our drivers are able to just cut loose and have some fun. Let's see what happens. Up first, we're going to see Alice Montgomery in Utter Madness. Now, this is the first time I've seen this truck, so I'm not quite sure what to expect here. We're going to have a good little pop off the car stack cars there. Just kind of rolling over the next hit there. A little bit of air. 
Very smooth, consistent throttle. Just kind of rolling around. Get some air over the cars there. I thought she was going to go for the van, but she chose against it. Where's she headed? She's going to go over the little, little lane there. Hopping over the cars. Pretty solid hit there. And just trying to get some little combo moves together. Just trying to hit some stuff and have fun. Good little pop off the car. I think she was looking for a little more there, but that's how it goes sometimes. We're going to go for the... No, we're not. We're going to miss the ambulance stack. Kind of driving through the middle of the track here, searching for her next hit. Oh, good air off of that hit, though. That should help inflate her scores a little bit there. That was a very solid hit. And for the next hit, we're going to take the two cars there. And up and over the side of the cars. Looks like that's the end of the run. She's going to get a score of 12. It's not a bad score, considering the, how slow the run started. Next, we're going to see Henry Gibbons and Flying High. This truck's identity has been around for a while, and let's, Henry's hoping to live up to that name. Very good hit to start. Went back around, looking for the next hit. A little bit, a little bit of a wheelie off of those there. Taking a note from Alice here, going to go for their good air off of the ramp there. We're going to go for the K-Rail and the boats. Solid, solid good air. Nice combo into a wheelie. Very nicely done. Back around, we're going to go up over the little ramp there. Going for the car stack. Very nice. A little wheelie off the cars. Good crunch. Love to hear it. Go for the ambulance stack here. Looks like we are. Very nicely done. Just up and over the top. Very smooth. Henry here is putting on a really nice run. I definitely suspect that this will take the lead from Alice. Very nice. Almost rolls the truck, but is able to bring it back over. Good control. Good awareness of what's going on there. Back around, we're going to take a little jump over the cars, and we're going to clear the whole car stack there. Very nice run score of 15 for Henry and Flying High. Next, we're going to see Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want to be the one paying the bill to paint that truck. But he says he likes the way it looks, so he's going to stick with it. See what we're going to do for a first hit here. Kind of searching for it. Alright, good air off the cars there. Just a good clean combo there. Up and over a couple. Slowing down a bit. Good pop, good wheelie off of it. So he's kind of looking around a little bit. Maybe he didn't plan out his moves. Ahead of time, he just said, you know what, I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to wing it. We're going to see what happens. Turn around. Looks like we're going to take the van stack. That's the first truck to do it. Up and over the top. And he's going to make it very nice. Always extra points to be the first truck to hit something. Good little wheelie off of the whoop section there. Oh, what was that? I don't know if he caught the K-Rail. Genuinely amazed the truck's not broken after that. That was an awkward hit. We're going to go up and over the ambulance stack to follow that, though. No fear. Looks like we might have a damaged wheel and a little bit of a de deformity in a tire there, but you know what? 
I don't think that's going to affect him too much. Oh, up on the front two tires, he's able to just kind of let it fall back down. Good air off the racing lane there. Looks like we're going to end the run there. Good run for Herbert in Airborne Assault with a score of 15. He's going to tie flying high for the lead. Next we'll see Joe Montgomery in Snow Problem. Again, as I said earlier, this is Alice's husband. I would think that she's probably gone back, given him a few pointers, and told him what to look out for out on the track now after having some experience out there herself. We're going to start with the K-Rails. Awkward hit. It looks like he grabbed the diff, but you know what? He made it up and over with no damage, so we're just not going to worry about it. Flip it around. We're going for the racing lanes here. Good solid air. Looks like the truck's just kind of all over the place on these landings off the ramps. Not sure if he's got a shock that doesn't like the way it's coming down or if it's just what's happening. Up over the ambulance stack, going to make it kind of awkwardly over the side, but no harm, no foul. Good air there. Very smooth, actually. Super smooth. Going for the racing lane on this side. Very, very nice wheelie. Probably the best wheelie we've seen of the day so far. Back to the other racing lane. Utilizing the ramps really nicely to get a good bit of air off of them. Here we're going for the K rails again. Risky move. We're going to make it up and over. Definitely got good momentum going. Good air. Very nicely done for Joe and Snow Problem. That was a great run. We're going to see another score of 15. We have a three-way tie for the lead now. We're going to see if anybody can break that. We're going to see Curtis Sparks next in high voltage. Good air for the first hit there. Into a wheelie. Very nicely done. Beautiful combo to start the run. Turn around going straight for the ambulance stack. Up and over. Beautiful. Going up the boats on the back side. Nice. Very nice. Sometimes when you come out, you just got to do things a little bit differently than others. And that's what Curtis is trying to do. Good air again. Not the best momentum we've seen so far, but definitely getting some of the best air we've seen off of these ramps. Doesn't quite clear the racing lane there, but it was still very nice. Going for the van. Yes, we are. Looks like we're going to get on top of it. Oh, he's able to dig off of it. Looks like we've lost a four length, though. We're going to have to see how that affects the rest of the run here. Because that could be really detrimental to the performance of that truck and the handling. See how it's kicking the, the rear end out every time he gets on throttle. He may have to shut it down early. I don't know. There's only 10 seconds left, though. So, Oh, very awkward the way it threw the rear end out from under it. He's going to shut it down there. Unfortunate. But we're going to have a score of 14, so still a good score. Next, we're see Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. This is the only truck here that has been at both shows so far. So she's had more seat time recently than the others. She's going to get stuck after a beautiful wheelie. She's getting stuck on top of the van. Looks like, is she going to back off the stack? She is going to back off the stack. Let's see if she's going to go for it again or change her mind and go for something else. Looks like she's going to go for the K-Rails over the boats. Probably a good choice. Don't want to get stuck up on the van again. I think getting stuck on that van kind of threw her off. She kind of took a second there to find her next hit, but good air. Good air. 
across the other side of the stadium here. Going up the back side of the racing lane. Nice wheelie. And the truck is off. Why is it off? I don't know if she got shut off or if she's having electrical issues in the truck. Looks like she's got it running again. So she's going to continue here. Thirty seconds remaining. She's really going to need to pick it up. Unfortunately, the stall and getting stuck really just kind of slowed her down. A decent little hit there. Nothing too crazy. Back up and over the boats. Nice wheelie. Brings it down the backside even. Very beautifully done. Nice and smooth. Up and over the racing lane. Looks like that's probably going to be our last hit as the run is over. And Opal's going to pull off to the side and wave to the fans here. Oh, she's going to take another hit for the fans, actually. Very nice. And she's going to park it up on the ramp there. Score of 17 for Opal. That is a new leader. So very nice. Next, we're going to see Mike Maxwell in loud pedal. After coming off a racing one, I expect he's going to come out here and he's going to throw down. Good air off the first hit. Very nice. Finds himself a spot to turn around. We're going to go right for the ambulance stack. Up, over, wheels up and over, off the ground. Very beautiful. He is coming out and trying to make it known that he wants that double down. Big wheelie. Really just moving around this venue. Hitting almost everything in sight. Very nice. Awkward off the on the landing there. But we're going to go up. No, oh, we're stuck on the car. It was very awkward there. He's able to back off of it, though. Looks like he's going to go for it again. And he's going to make it over. He struggles, but he makes it over. off the racing lane again. 25 seconds left in the run. So we're going to go for some donuts here. Very good donuts, in fact. Staying in them. Good throttle control brings it out and right to a hit. Well controlled. Running out of time, though. That is going to be the run. These hits are not going to count. Up over the boats. This is all for the fans. He's just here showing off now. He's having a good time. Score of 16 for Mike and Loud Pedal. Very, very nice run. Next up, we're going to see Samson Richardson in Asphalt Assault. Bringing out that nice, shiny new truck. Let's see what he can do with it here today. Start with good air off the racing lane. Loops it around. Truck turns on a dime. It's very nice. Good solid air. And again, nice combo. Just constantly just whipping that truck right around. Up over the boats. Very nice. Awkward bounce, though. Can't quite get the wheelie out of it. Just rotates so fast. Back up and over the boats on the other direction. And we're caught on the K rail. Looks like he's going to be dragging it along with him. Actually, it looks like he's going to get stuck because of it. He's able to back off of it, though. Almost takes the front diff with it. All right, we're back moving pretty good here. Good air. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Big air. Very nice. Goes to attempt a donut. Gets one rotation and has to get out of it. Going onto the concrete there. We're going to go up and over the fan. Very nice wheelie off the car. Right into some donuts. Oh, it's up and over. 
What a way to end the run. Score of 19 for Samson in Asphalt Assault. Very, very well done. Next, we're going to see Drac Schroeder in Try Me. That's a lot to follow what just happened in front of him. Let's see what he does. Up over the car. Big air off the car and van there. Into a beautiful wheelie on the bumper. Man, you don't top that. That was gorgeous. Takes a nice light hit there. Beautiful big air off of the racing lane. He saw that 19. He said, I can get more. And he's going for it. Gonna turn around here. Good air off the little whoop section there. We're going to clear the little ramp there. Very nice smooth landing into a set of donuts. On throttle. That inside front tire is just barely rotating. It's a very nice set of donuts there. Huge sky wheelie off the cars. Lands on the back bumper. Truck stays together, though. We're going to keep on rolling. Good air. Turns around. Oh, almost. Almost rolls it over on the concrete. Good wheelie up and over the ambulance stack into a slap wheelie. Killer truck control here. Doing an awesome job. Big wheelie again off of the yellow cars. Just staying planted, keeping that throttle down, looking for anything he can hit getting in the way. That's going to be the end of the run, though. Oh, up vertical, lands it on the van. Beautiful. Oh, my God, he's on fire. I hope he can get out of that truck nice and quick and the safety crew can get there and take care of him. That is a score of 20, though. That is a new leader. And now we're going to see Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. He has to follow... A fantastic run. That is a very, very high bar that has been set. That should be a lot of pressure on his shoulders. He's got a capable truck and he's a capable driver. Big sky wheelie off of that. So we're starting big. Let's see if he can keep the momentum and keep the flow going. Good air. Almost gets the wheelie out of it. Oh, he's going to get caught by the car. Throws in reverse, able to get off of it. Is he going to go for it again? He is nice, wheelie up and over. Way to redeem himself for the first attempt at that. Very well done. Good air on the racing lane. Beautiful down the other side. Gonna whip it around here. Going to come across the racing lane there. Very good hit. Up and over. Good air off the two cars stack there. Looks like we're going to cross thread the ambulance. Very nice wheelie up and over. Beautifully done. Great truck control. Almost rolls it there. Able to turn into it and bring the truck back down. Oh, he's going to dislodge the car from the ramp. Or from the K rail. Looks like he is going to be stuck though. 10 seconds left on the clock. Looks like they're going to shut him down. That is a score of 20 for him in Sinful Addiction. That was a great run from Keith. Looks like we're going to have a tie for the win here. Standings in the end are going to be Sinful Addiction and Try Me with a 20. Asphalt Assault with a 19. Reckless Red with a 17. Loud Pedal with a 16. Snow Problem, Flying High, and Airborne Assault all with a 15. High Voltage with a 14. And then Utter Madness with a 12. This was a great show. We saw a lot of things happen here. A lot of good driving and some drivers just getting in, getting some seat time in, getting some experience. I genuinely enjoyed this show. I hope to see y'all next week in Rosemont, Illinois. If you want to stay up to date in between shows, be sure to hop over to Instagram and follow us at Core Monsters. Y'all have a good evening.